wonderful opportunity to talk to, as you would know him, Shiva Seven. So Shiva is going to talk to us today. His story is actually part of the series of success stories on the channel. For those of you that have been listening to that series of, I think there's 18 of those stories now. And his story was particularly good. And I asked him if he would come on and just have a chat to me so that those of you that are in challenging situations around love and relationships and in particular around a specific person uh, so that it can help you to see where he was at, what he did and where he's at now. So I'd like to welcome you, Shiva, to the call. Thank you for coming to join me today. Thank you, Agnes, and uh, hello, everyone. Well, you um, said to me that you got on YouTube and found my channel quite a long time ago. I think you said there was a, only a couple hundred subscribers at the time. And, uh, yeah, you go ahead and jump in and tell me where you were at and what was going on and whatever else you want to say. Yeah, the story starts from last year, around the month uh, of October. So that is when I was really struggling and uh, the struggle, uh, I cannot explain it into the words. Those of you who are in that situation know it better. But uh, I came across Anya's channel when I was searching through various techniques and methods of law of attraction to get your ex back specifically. So uh, during that course of time, I found many channels and uh, all the channels they were all discussing like that you need to love yourself first and then you need to let go and every video would give me the same message and I would not understand it so then later on I discovered a channel of Veronica if you would know mm. and, yes. and she was actually a, she was kind of specialist in this I would say she was also doing a lot of uh, law of attraction for a specific person and then I discovered Anya's channel and uh, it was around I think November or December 2016 that is when I discovered her channel and uh, although uh, there were less viewers then but she would come and comment to comment on our uh, messages privately and also on the thread as well so that was a personal touch that you would give us all which was, I think, very good. Other YouTubers, maybe they were too busy with it or they uh, never gave a, you know, they were not able to give everybody a reply. So mm. that personal touch, I think, was very important for me to connect with you. And uh, when I started following your videos, I would get your message, but I was not able to put it into my life because inside me, I was still struggling. And uh, I was struggling in the sense that whatever you said, I would be able to understand it. And I would think that, yes, this is what is uh, wrong. And this is what I should be doing. But still, you know, there is a fight within yourself. There's a mental pressure within yourself. You are not able to eat properly, sleep properly, or do the things mm. you would normally do. So that is the struggle which we all go through. Mm. And uh, then later on, you started with a series of meditations, which were uh, more concerned about self-love because many of your subscribers and viewers were uh, looking for this, attracting your love, ex, or someone specific. So that is when you started with the basics first. You said that a lot of people are struggling with the self-love. And I was also one of them. And uh, I think it was just about the timing that when you started that, I was a part of your channel. I would come regularly and check your channel daily for the videos and what is the new today, and what I should be adding up, what should I be changing? Because I was so much insecure inside me that I wanted to get myself better. So uh, that was how it started. Before that, even before finding your channel and Veronica's channel, I was, you know, very much uh, on YouTube searching for different things 
like subliminal messages if you have heard mm. so uh, i tried them too to be honest and i know they didn't work <laughs> and they didn't work because the one reason was because i was trying too hard mm that was the one reason i was you know very hard on myself i just wanted a change and i wanted to see that change just in front of me right now so that was one thing that i was impatient insecure and uh, i was not feeling love and yeah. i most importantly i was not respecting myself i didn't knew what my value was and that is why i was running after someone and trying different techniques of different people to make it happen in mm. some way or the other so that was the start of the journey and the rest you know things followed up i started doing the self love meditations like you suggested and to be very honest uh, uh, it unfolded in a very uh, natural way because uh, when i started to self love i realized that i have to live more and i realized that i have to be normal again that you have to be, what what did you say you have to what again i have to be normal again i have oh, to be myself yeah. again yes yes so there comes a point in every situation where you know that it is the break even point that now is the time for change so yeah. i think for every relation or every uh, thing that you want or every thing you do there is a break even point Mm. and when the person gets that break even point they become independent yeah they are not so can I, can i um shiva can i ask you when you cuz you went through a breakup mm-hmm. prior to that um was it a um like when you look back at yourself leading up to the breakup could you see when you look back at yourself now can you did you have those i'm not loved i'm not wanted you have to give me love so i can feel better did you have that going on within your relationship uh the thing was when i was with her before the breakup so at that time i was just trying to make her uh, feel good every time and ignoring myself yeah, yeah. And i think so i was actually ignoring myself but i was trying to maintain a relationship by yeah. making her happy so i think that eventually led to the breakup because i was it, undervaluing myself yeah and it was taking like was you giving your energy to her and then you weren't keeping anything for you like to look yeah, after yourself exactly. yeah yeah uh, when you have with someone you try to you know match them and when you yes. try too hard yeah i think then it breaks up Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So did you like from listening to Veronica and I I really like her stuff. I think she's a beautiful, gentle soul and I think um you know, we do her and I do similar things. When you started watching her and you started watching my channel, did you start to create some kind of daily routine after the breakup to take care of yourself? Yes I did uh, initially what I did was uh, I selected three times in a day specific times I put an yeah. alarm on my phone yes that at these time of the days I have to do meditations at any cost wow three times a day yeah they were not very long like uh, 10 to 20 minutes only but yeah. still uh, to follow that uh, in a discipline routine is a little bit tough and i used to miss the deadline as well sometimes yes so uh, i was still being hard on myself being disciplined in that respect to be very honest that was not the right way to go about it because uh, when you are looking for something you need to go with a hmm. uh, with softness not with discipline you know so this is a difference and mm. when i started following your channel i even downloaded some of your meditations to be honest on my phone so that mm. i could listen to them again and again yes so uh, some of your self love meditations were a part of my routine which i would do daily how did you so do the thir- how did you do the th- like were you working how did you do the one the third one like morning and night you can kind of do before and after work but how did you do the middle one 
uh actually at that point of time uh i had just passed my university so i was waiting ah, for the result okay so, so you know yeah, you the had problem time. is when i had time and when you are alone then those things hit you more yes yes because there's no free. distraction yeah yeah so you get the get those thoughts again and again throughout the day yes so that's a very big problem and uh, but then i made a schedule and i tried to follow it i mm. think uh, the things changed when i started doing the self love meditations i tried to be disciplined but i was not able to fully but yeah. still i would do at least two meditations a day wow it's still good that's still yeah that's wonderful uh then later on i joined gym which i thought it is needed now that i need to take my mind off this thing i yes. need to at least take my time out and think about something else and improve mm. myself mm. so i think uh, that was really helpful because when i used to go to the gym i used to i made new friends first of all yeah so i used to forget what was happening i used to forget uh, my failures and i used to forget uh, mm. that i'm struggling yeah so beautiful slowly, slowly and slowly what happened was i was able to be myself again and i used to enjoy my time in the gym mm. and then uh, the meditations used to seem like work that why am i doing this i don't need to do this i'm good enough I yes this. yes nice nice so, that is what started happening and uh, i think when i joined the gym it was february 2017 so in mm -hmm. before that 3 4 months i was struggling really hard yeah mentally you know your peace is disturbed you are not able to do anything right all the time mm. you do anything they are in the back of your mind yeah so after i joined the gym in february 2017 uh, in one month two months i was very much normal again and i knew what was right and i knew mm. that i was not at fault so i need to stop punishing myself yes and yes what i oh, so you did you blame yourself for the breakup uh no to be honest when i realized that i had not made any mistake so yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was nothing so you could let that go yeah i was able to let that go mm. i realized that it was not my mistake and uh, situations can develop like that so it's okay you make yeah. mistakes so you learn yes and i and i think uh, when i look back now uh, that experience is also very important because for the rest of my life whenever i will be stuck i'll remember this that i was stuck yes so hard times don't last yeah but uh, yeah. they need to be positive and patient mm So are you still doing any meditation or the gym or daily routine or now you've just you've let everything go and you're just enjoying and being uh, No actually uh, I've left the gym because uh, I'm in a job now Yeah okay yeah so I'm still trying to you know figure out my schedule Yes So no I don't do meditations now I'm doing meditations for my job because that Okay Yeah, lovely, lovely. So, Fantastic. when you achieve something, you move on and you try to get there. Yep. Better. Exactly. Exactly. So and are you thing, Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, what happens is when you achieve something, you get a little bit of confidence that I will get mm. another one as well. Yeah. That's true. Yes, yeah, now you go ahead. I was going to say to you um when you wrote your story to me and i read it on the youtube um i can't remember the exact details so you can explain it in your words but that you got your self love and your self confidence became your first priority and then your specific person came back and you actually said no i'm actually wanting to really work on myself and continue to do that for a period of time it, do i remember that correctly Yeah 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 I did uh, I'll tell you what happened So basically uh after February uh two months I was in the gym and I told you I made friends 
so now i was you know gaining my confidence back and i was getting back to normal it was not like yeah. uh, that those thoughts were not coming to me they were coming but it was like they were not bothering me now mm that it is a part of life and i had accepted that and i had to get off it i knew it that i had to you know leave them behind and i have to yes. move forward i have to get better so uh what happened in april uh i was over it over it in the sense that if she comes it is good if she doesn't come it's still good mm. so that was the, so that was the state of mind of course Lovely. i wanted her i wanted her but uh, i was not you know dying about it mm. Mm. so the so situation had changed i was not dying previously i was you know wanting to yes. do at the earliest yes yes so uh, after april i was still doing my self love but the practice had changed i was not doing it thrice in a day or twice in a day i was doing it only once mm-hmm. but it was only about self love and not about any of the wishes that i wanted to be fulfilled yes it was not about her it was not about any job or anything it was just about myself mm so later on what happened next month may uh i went to give my exams and we were in the same college so i saw her she saw me but we didn't talk so that happened twice 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 or thrice and uh, then after the end of the exams one fine day i was packing a gift for someone and uh, i saw a notification on my phone that Uh, she has messaged me and i was like what i mean i was not you know <laughs> expecting it yes because i was busy packing a gift and i was only you know busy in packing it properly so then i was like okay i will not reply to her until an hour so mm. i decided to go that way so uh, then she started to talk normally with me and uh, she was like how have you been and we discussed normal things and she showed interest in me and later on after a week she asked me out and we met and uh, later on she told me that she loved me as well but because of some confusions before she was not able to recognize her feelings for me hmm so it was exactly what i had imagined once that she would come yeah. to me she would message me and she would tell me that was exactly what i had dreamt of and you did it only once did you say uh did once what you said you it was what you imagined did you only imagine it once is is that what you said or no i used to think of it that if she would come oh, she would message yeah. me i but not regularly but it was not regularly yes it was when you weren't so um when you'd let go of all that desperation yeah yeah it was, wow i made a rule in my mind that whatever happens i will not be going to approach her she would mm. become mm. i wanted to see my own power yes wonderful because i know a lot of the viewers say you know when i post up the success stories there's often comments oh yeah this is a good story but the person still approached their specific person and you know some people do approach but i think it's when you can actually re- like you say see what your own power is and really allow really let the fruit ripen on the tree and do not pick it that's when you really get to see the power of your own creation like what you did so okay so you said to her or well, you said to yourself i'm not going to approach her so she approached you finally yes mm. okay and um and was that the part of the story when you said no i'm going to wait cuz i just want to do myself I me mean, didn't say do myself love but i just want to work on myself uh actually when she came back uh, uh i realized that i think i need to take time to decide on this 
mm. whether we should be together or we we should not be yeah because it was such a struggle but at yes. the end but at the end i was able to you know get my wish fulfilled and why i waited is because i wanted to see how much mm. uh, serious she was ah uh, okay yep so that was the thing because she was confused before the person can be confused again mm yeah that's true that's true so you need and to you've... wait you you mm. cannot you know go and blow the trumpet for it that she has come oh wow no mm you have to wait it is good that you are winning but mm. it's important but it's important you still keep the patience yes. even if you are yeah. seeing the final result yes and the yeah. situation is currently also the same we are friends we are not together in a relationship yeah but uh, daily she would tell me that she loves me and this is mm-hmm. what i imagined once exactly. okay so we are very good wow. friends mm. but we're still waiting on our relationship mm so when you just looking at the time frame when you originally broke up was it 2016 uh yeah in 2016 and then in february you were going to the gym and you were doing all the meditations and everything to get yourself back and then by yeah. april you what did you say happened in april by april you were free mentally you were fr- much freer with everything yeah actually in april i was able to uh, be myself more and i was able to mm. be present that's not that long that's not that long shiva no it was long i'll tell you the real struggle started from november 2016 yeah so no but some I'm, some people work on this for years like you did it within less than a year six so you, yeah yeah you did fantastic but you were really committed to your own self love you were really committed when i read your story i really felt your commitment to yourself that you understood it's not oh i just got to feel better quick so i can go and get that over there which is my person i just got to get the person back you actually really it's like you sunk into the self love and really saw your value and your self worth and you got your confidence back as a human being and as a man and you were really I love how you waited like you said you know I'm going to see the power within me and I'm going I'm not going to approach her she's going to approach me and you were really committed to that so yeah it's just such a beautiful powerful story of self love and that's why I asked you to come talk to me because of all the stories and a lot of the stories are good but it was like your story in particular the self love component was so prominent um that even as you're getting closer with your person and you're building a, a friendship and all that stuff you didn't just jump on it and drag it in like i have to have this now which is still if you're doing that you kind of have missed this whole self love thing again even if yes, you've exactly. attracted it's like the whole thing is the self love the specific person is actually the 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 linch pin that makes us look at how much we don't love ourselves and how much it is between really us and us all the learning is between us and us what we think about ourselves what we think about you know women or men or relationships or love and all that stuff but it's like the foundation of self love is the jewel it is the 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 pot of gold it that's the pot of gold the specific person is the cherry on the cake they're not the cake the cake is the self love so to speak so yeah, yeah i love them the cake the is cake. you that's right. so you know you have to understand that uh, yes. everybody who is struggling uh, they need to understand their life must revolve around themselves not somebody yes. else yes yes if somebody else is there it is uh, an mm. added advantage yeah you should not be taking it as a main focal point yeah and if you walk so, in to a relationship mm. with that self love you make such a wonderful partner for somebody because you understand 
that you keep your life going and you keep your self-love going. And I think that is such a wonderful gift that you give yourself first, but that you bring to a relationship. Yes. I think uh, many of the people, what they do is, uh, why people struggle with attracting a specific person is because uh, uh, they think about the other person a lot rather than yeah. themselves. Yes. So, so for anything that you want, you need to start thinking from your point, mm. not the other person. For anything, mm. thing, if I want a car, I look at myself, not the car. Mm. Mm-hmm. So this is the difference. People start looking at the other person. They start looking at yeah. the goal first. Yes. So That's uh, so true. That is so, so true. So this mm. is why I think this topic of attracting a specific person uh, as many people saying that they didn't succeed or they failed. So that is why they failed. Mm. Yes. Uh, it is about the realization of a point where uh, you understand that you need to value yourself. Yes. I'm not saying that you must leave the other person. You have it. You have that dream in your mind, but don't ignore yourself. That is mm. what I do. And that is what people yeah. do to themselves. They, yes. Uh, like, for example, I live with my family and I have my friends other than her as well. So when I was struggling, I was not able to even communicate with them properly. So which is wrong. Mm. What I have, I should enjoy that. Yes. And keep it, keep it. It's like yeah. the relationship is only one part of your life. There's also your hobbies, your family, your friends, your books, your YouTubing, your exercise, all those things make up a well-rounded, self-loving person. So, yeah, I agree with you. Totally agree with that. So Mm. investment has to be in different areas. You cannot invest in a single place Mm. because if the stock market goes down, you are going to get a lot of losses. So you need to invest. You need to invest. Love them but also love yourself. Yes. Yes. So, so let me ask you today with where you're yes. at, what, what self-love, like how do you love yourself on a daily basis? What sort of things do you do? Uh, for me, self-love is uh, eating the things that I want, spending the time like I want and yes. going out with the people uh, who value me. Yes. Spending quality time with my family and yes. uh, even playing the games on my computer. Yes. Yeah. So Doing something fun. Yeah. <laughs> because, yes. because at that point of time, I'm not thinking about anything else and I'm not worried yeah. about anything else. So, yeah. so everybody needs to find those activities where they're not thinking about anything mm. else other than that activity. You know, you are totally drowned. Yes. Into that and being thing. present. Yep. Yep. I agree. I agree. Because you spend so much time when you're not in self-love and you're trying to get love from someone preoccupied. It's like you're here, but you're not here at all. You're mentally trying to work out how to get them to love you or how to get them to see you or how to get them to send you a text message or how to, how to, it's this thing of looking out all the time. But yeah, I, it's so good when you get lost in something and you just, like you say, it's a video game or, you know, you go for a walk in nature or you're reading a book in the afternoon and you fall asleep and because it's, you know, you're not working that day or you're not studying that day and you can just fall asleep in the afternoon. I mean, that too is self-love. Have a bath, have a long shower, whatever it is, where you just go, ah, this is good for me. This is what I need. And you give it to yourself from yourself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I think I'm the first person who is in discussion with you who is speaking more than you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I love it. I know. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And, you know, Shiva, I want to do more of these, you know, because I think I can do the YouTubes and I can talk, but my YouTubes basically say the same things over and over in lots of different ways but to hear it from someone else's experience I think 
sometimes it's like, okay, well, here's the information about the law of attraction, about Neville Goddard, about self-love, about, but here's someone that didn't just listen to the words, they applied it to their situation and look at where they are. They've got themselves back. They've got their happiness back. They're not suffering anymore. They can wake up and go, I'm looking forward to this day. I'm going to love this day. I'm going to give love to this day. I'm going to enjoy the journey because we never get this day back. You never get it back. So it's, that's what I, I love that about your story. I love it. And I want to do more people's experience because experience you cannot argue with it's not theory it's not just knowledge it's somebody's real life and that is the best teacher of all yeah exactly i want to uh, tell you that uh, i told you now that all the other youtube channels uh, they were discussing about self-love and how you should do it but they were missing that key ingredient and I think you have done really well to highlight that by the means mm. of your meditations. So I think a great round of applause for you mm. that you have done something which people are really seeking. People are struggling yeah. and you are helping them with yeah. exactly what they need. Lovely, lovely. So, but you know, Shiva, when I started this, I was just thinking, okay, we'll share some stories and we'll share some tips but the thing is the viewers keep asking. I remember I said once, okay, if you have anything you would like me to do around the law of attraction or Neville or learning about self-love, ask me the questions and I'll see if I can do a YouTube. So it's like now the viewers just keep asking and that's, I just think, well, I've just got to follow the, the pebbles falling out of the bag. It's people will keep telling me what they need because I'm, I, I don't know exactly. It's like when you're further down the track, it's not that you forget, but you, it's like, okay, I've got to work out. How do I make this complicated thing really simple? Because I used to listen to a lot of law of attraction stuff and I'd, I'd go, I've just listened to 15 minutes. I, I don't, I don't feel any, I don't even understand. <laughs> I just yeah, sort of, yeah. sometimes it just gets so, like you too just, it's too, it's too wishy-washy. It's not clear. It's not, okay, you do this, then you do this, then you do that. Make sure and put your feeling into it and do, you know, so it was very, I thought, okay, this is what drives me crazy is it's not clear. And that was my thing. If I do a channel, I want to make sure that it's as clear as it can be. So people can really follow it. So, no, it is very good. To be very yeah. honest, it is very simple and very good. It and is simple. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We Thank you. To make it Thank you. So simple and so mm. good that uh, anybody who is struggling in any kind of step, I would call it level, they are stuck on yes. any level. So yes. they can they can see themselves and then they can mm. rectify themselves. Mm. But it's and all Shiva, about the you... realization. Yes, it is. It is. You know, Shiva, with the channel, 85% are women and 15% are men. And I was, (laughs) you know, know. (laughs) uh, because I I was looking at the Google YouTube analytics and I thought, wow, okay. But I'm getting, you know, a lot of men coming and emailing and saying, you know, we, we really need help too. We really need help too. We're, you know, we've just had a breakup or so, I mean, I've, I don't know what, but I've been asked a few times, can you do something for the men? And, you know, I'm going to need the men and after they watch this YouTube, because I need to know what it is that the men particularly want to know. I know what the women want to know because I've got 85% of them and they email me a lot. But my, my thing where I'm not 100% sure is what is it that the men need um, that would be more specific to them because that's a little area that, I mean, whether it's a man or a woman that's suffering, self-love is still needed uh, I think the foundation's the same, but I think from what I hear that because men are men, 
there's more pressure to hold it together and to be, you know, emotionally strong and to, you know, men have, you know, that I've t- spoken to and coached and stuff have had to hold that in and it seems to be a bit more of a challenge for men to, yeah, just to let, to let that stuff out because of the pressure yeah, because, of being a man. Uh, I think that happens because... Uh, we are not able to share with many people and uh, yeah the other thing is uh, that we also try hard like i said i was trying hard. Yes. If, even the girls try hard but, yes uh, i think men have this tendency of uh, uh, i'll get it done mm. or I'll not give up or something like that yes so, yes so what happens is uh, then that thing is on your mind all the time every time and everything you do so it is problematic, but mm. I think with time, everybody learns and everybody needs to realize that they need to mm. improve themselves. So yes. when they realize this, that realization is the key component of their improvement and getting their person. Mm. You know, you are not far away when you realize that I need to be better. I don't need to be better for them, but for myself. Yes, but I like what you said about trying too hard because I think when you've come out of a breakup and you get on YouTube and you start looking at stuff and then you start going, oh, I could do that, I could do that, I could do that. It's like you try too hard because you're trying to get rid of that pain in your chest and in your stomach. You're trying to just feel better. But I think, like you're saying, the trying too hard it's how did you say it you said something about when i'm when i was trying too hard it was what did you say when i was trying too hard i was uh, searching everywhere every post every channel everything yeah and i told you about the subliminals and subliminals I'll uh, tell yes. you, they were they had duration of one hour so yes. one hour in your uh, ears you are listening to something you do not understand yes so basically they are music <laughs> and the message is hidden so you yeah. don't know if it's working or not, but you have to mm. believe. Yeah. No other option if you want it. Yeah. So when you because if you read the comments, everybody likes to hear the reviews, no? So I read the comments. They had mixed reviews. Some people were like, "Yeah, we got it. I've done it." So I was like, "Okay, I I should also try. Maybe maybe it will work for me." So mm. I was not stuck to one supplement. I would go on another, another, okay, this looks better. Okay, this is even better. Okay, this is less duration. So, you know, I was trying a lot. And, yeah. And uh, then I deleted them. I thought, no, this is bullshit. You need to stop. It. And <laughs> this is not the right way to go about it. Mm. I need to, I realized that I need to calm my mind. Yes, yes. Because <laughs> that was the main issue. So, Everybody just needs to calm themselves and they need to find mm. that thing which calms them or keeps them busy in a way mm. that they forget everything. How did you calm your mind apart from the meditations, at the self-love meditations? How did you actually calm, calm it down? So I used to go for exercising and I had made friends. So I used to go out with them as well for outing. Mm-hmm. So not daily, but some days there were time that I was out for six to seven hours. So I was not thinking about it. The day used to be good. Mm. Mm. There were good days and bad days. But I think bad days were important because they have given me a lesson for a lifetime. And yeah. now I have achieved success. I will always remember this, that uh, nothing is impossible. And I think yeah. getting a person back, is a topic which people have mixed reviews on that we should not do it or we should do it. Some say you should not be doing it. Some say you should be doing it. But I have done it and I have achieved success. So I know that uh, it's Mm. the hardest thing I have done. But people cannot achieve. I've done that. So I can do other things as well, which are easy. Yes. Yes. It's like a benchmark, isn't it? You think when something's in front of you, you go, well, that wasn't as hard as that one. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, exactly. So when I see people on your video now, they are in trouble, I would say. Yes. So so what they need to do is they need to calm themselves. I say yeah. they don't need to be disciplined about the meditation. They don't need to be. 
but they need to look after their cells they need to mm-hmm. find those gaps yes which they have created because of following a person constantly in every yeah. possible way yeah so they need to follow themselves the same mm. way they are following that person yes yes yeah that's a good way to say it yeah and yeah. like you say calming your calming yourself mentally yeah yeah it's very because that is yeah. where the struggle is yes yes it is and then it goes down into your heart and it goes down into your stomach and it creates fear and anxiety and all that stuff so it is about calming yourself for sure yeah well said mm lovely i look i just you know i just love hearing to me you know i'm always glad when someone gets their specific person but i think more so when i hear someone really get how important self love is and that they make that the priority it doesn't get better than that for me to hear that that to me is the jewel it is the 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 hidden jewel there it is yeah and uh, now for example i am seeking a better job so yes. that is my next target so yes. of course i'm i'm anxious about it but yes. since i have achieved success so i'm more calm i know that yeah. i will get that as well yeah so there is a strong belief in me that when mm-hmm. i can achieve something even harder so i should be easily be able to do the next yeah thing. yeah so it is it's, a yeah it is and it's like once you have one really good manifestation which i think feeling good and and getting to the place of self love and being relaxed and at peace some of the time like you know about 60 70% of the time 75 if you can get to that place and be released from the grip of i have to get my person when you finally break free of that and you know you did it yourself then like you say you can say okay well i manifested that beautiful self love my person actually has come back i'm just taking it slow i don't need to have everything right with that person right now i'm going to continue to build my life and have a fantastic job and move on to the next thing it the confidence of that past thing you did like you said it builds your confidence for this next thing and i think that's so important to, you know people say oh, how do i let go of fear or how how do i let go of the thoughts well it's practice there's no shortcut you practice and you focus and then you go okay i and you reassure yourself i did it with the the relationship i've got the self love now i can do it with the job and you talk to yourself in that loving way because that's a thing that part of self love too is talking to yourself in a reassuring way that self loving rather than saying oh you're never going to get a job or when do you think you know how do you know you're good enough for that or whatever when you beat yourself up so um yeah, yeah this used I to th- happen uh, yeah. when i was you know thinking about my person so i used to ask myself these questions how is it going to happen will she come to me or yes. is she even thinking about me am yeah. i am I, am, I, am i a big fool she doesn't yeah. even care about me i am not yeah. important so these are the things that mm. come into everybody's mind yeah i think that okay it's okay you cannot change yeah. it but what you can do is you can try to improve yourself you cannot control yes. situations yes but you can improve yourself yeah yeah you can try at least you can mm. try to be better be yourself yeah yeah so yeah i think this is the missing link which people need to know that mm-hmm. if they are chasing someone they must keep on chasing but they must chase with a certain limit there are limitations mm. to it you cannot yeah. go all in you need to invest something in yourself as well yeah 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 the people invest everything in them yes they are only meditating about them they are not meditating about how powerful they are or how good they mm. are mm mm-hmm. mhm exactly so 
Mm-hmm. So they are imagining meditations like they are with them holding hands. That's perfectly fine. That is your dream. Good. But you need to know that you are attractive enough that they will come to you. And that you need self-love. Yes. So that you can exactly. so that you can believe that. Yeah. Yeah, for so, sure. So what happened was when I joined the gym and uh, of course my personality got a little bit better physically. So I used to feel confident and mm. people started complimenting me i never really thought about it that people would tell me oh you are looking good today you are looking nice so it all happened yeah. when i was mm. gym and my personality would be better yeah so naturally the confidence build up and mm. slowly and slowly then you realize that you are important and then you need to be good to yourself and then the other person also pops up from nowhere yeah. like i was packing yeah. a gift yeah just like you say just when you're not even thinking about it bang yeah it happens yeah. and uh, mm. everybody mm. needs to know that they need to be soft to themselves yes you know, people are too hard and trying too hard i was yeah. doing the same thing and it's okay yeah it's also yeah. Me part too. of learning yeah me too yeah for sure it is but part of learning but it will make them a better person so it's okay so the strategy yes. is important yeah yeah but surrendering and letting go is a big part of creating yes. it's not just doing all the stuff it's that silent inactivity that's where it kind of germinates and grows that's where it hatches so yeah i i yeah. really agree with you the importance of being still being at peace just relax just enjoy who you are just be in the state of love and just let go yeah let yeah. go is a little tough initially i think because yes it is things. but it's yes. okay everybody experiments and then they get better at it yes yeah but i would say if uh, if you are for any person or any subscribers who are watching i will only say that you need to stick to a certain person like i am watching your videos now so i stick to you or veronica i don't go anywhere else the yes. more the information the more the confused you are yes yeah. so every, everybody has a different point of view yes that's true so that's true who has the same uh, set of thinking matching to yours Yes, yes, so that's you true. So not be changing it because if you keep mm. changing every day, everybody has something different to say. Yeah, and then you do get confused as you say, you just like, ah. Yeah, then you will yeah. think mm. that okay, this was missing. Okay, this mm. was missing. Yeah, which is wrong. So yeah. You need to be confined with the channels also and mm. with the posts you follow because uh you don't need to be confused otherwise you will just keep keep bringing out the flaws in you yeah so this is what yeah. i was doing wrong this is what is missing that is why she left me so yeah stop with it yeah yeah wow lovely 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 well i'm really glad that you've come to share your well wow, you're wonderful well it's like a transformation really such a wonderful yeah, also transformation that I, would be, that i would be sending you my story once and i had imagined that as a part of my imagination yes once. so yes. i did send you that as well i got featured in your video as well and now this recording so everybody should be if they are struggling they should see it from this perspective that if i can do it they can do it as well yes yes so exactly we can all do it but we can all do it yep Yeah, but yeah. we just need to be good with ourselves. That is the yes. thing that we need to focus on. Definitely. Oh, lovely, lovely. Well, before we close, Shiva, do you want to? Is there anything else you want to add to this for the viewers? No, I would only say to the people that if you are struggling and uh, if you are feeling low, it's perfectly all right. everybody mm. goes through the situation and if anybody can change the situation for you it is you mm. if you are seeking help from somebody or if you are seeking someone to love you you are looking in the wrong place yeah 
So first of all, try to address the calmness for your mind. Mm. Once you are calm with it, I'm pretty sure everything else will fall into place. Yeah. So everybody should yeah. focus on that. Or yes. Anything that they want. Hmm. Yeah. And it's and lo- honestly, getting a person back is not tough. To be very honest, <laughs> it's not. No. Tough because of, no. You know, it's, it's not tough at all. Because when no. you start focusing on yourself, you have improved yourself. Like mm. I would give you an example for a celebrity. If, uh, if if you meet a celebrity, a movie star, does he ever come to you, or you go to them for the autograph? So they yeah, created that image, that charisma. Yes. So you need within themselves. Charisma. Yeah, yeah. When you have that charisma in you, that the other person mm. comes up. Mm. So yeah, that's the only thing. They don't go yeah. seeking out. Oh yeah, I need fans. They don't do that. Yeah, no. Fans come automatically. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So that's the only thing I want to tell people: that yeah. be easy on yourself. And it's okay yes. if you're struggling, but this will be helpful in long run. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you so much for coming and sharing all that. I think it will be of great help to the people on the channel, especially people that are still really struggling. And uh, lots of love to you, and I'm really grateful that you've given your time to share that today. Thank you and thank you for the invitation. It was really a pleasure to join you, and I mm. hope that people really be easy to themselves and are feeling more relaxed after hearing what I have achieved. If they yeah, yeah. Lessons from it, or they try to change little bit parts in their life, which improves them. Yes. Thanks. Okay, Shirag. Thank you so much, and. Um... Yeah, I will catch you on email or I will, yeah, speak to you at a later date. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a nice day. And it was a really pleasure. Lovely. Big kiss. Seriously, I never imagined I would be able to uh, (laughs) be able to talk to you. We're very honest. Yeah. Wonderful. See, this is also a surprise. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Fabulous. Fabulous. Because Thank you have also you. grown up into a celebrity, to be honest, oh. <laughs> in past six months. That's the well, reality. Well, and even funny, my, you know. my sister even follows your channel and she oh, also, really? she follows your meditations and she really likes it. She really yeah. likes how you go into the mm. details. So oh, that's cool. lovely. Lovely, lovely. You know, it's funny because I'm quite a intro, well, I'm an extroverted person, but I really love you know, being alone a lot of the time. So I thought YouTube will be perfect because I can still be with people and, and share this stuff, but then I can still have my own sort of privacy and anonymity. But, um, yeah, I think uh, you Same do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like two parts of, two parts, different parts of life. So, yeah, both are extremely enjoyable, just different, yeah. different parts of the coin, different sides of the coin. <laughs> All right, Shiva, lots of love to you and um, may you keep me updated with your dream job next course, chapter. Definitely. To be, to be continued, to be continued. <laughs> yeah, definitely that will be yeah. featured someday yeah. soon. I'm Sounds sure. good. Yeah, well, we can do video too when you're ready. When you manifested that, email me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, All right. You also. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.